Hey guys, I wanted to show you today just a little something that might help you in your life and that might even change it for the better. Showing you that you can live a life honoring to Christ that's not so fast, that's not so full of anxiety and stress and pressure because that that a lot of times can can create fear in our lives and that fear um, I heard just a couple days ago from my pastor that fear is the cause the one of the root causes one of the root causes of many many different types of sins a lot of times we as Americans are controlled by our fears and not by our faith in Jesus Christ and what he would have us do. We're, we're controlled by money and not having enough of it. We're controlled by not having a place to, to, to call home and, and maybe wanting things that it's not time for us to have. Things that we stress over, And so as we can, as I read this quote to you from this book called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry uh, by John Mark, Mark Comer, I just, I'm going to quote something in here. I just want you to think, Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. So as I read this quote, just think about that. It's uh, by Ronald Rollheiser and it, it's um, a Catholic writer. So if you want to be offended, you can. But just listen, just, just take a second and listen. Um, today, a number of historical circumstances are blindly following, flowing together and accidentally conspiring to produce a climate within, which is difficult not just to think about God or to pray, but simply have any interior depth whatsoever. We, for every kind of reason, good and bad, are distracting ourselves into spiritual oblivion. It is not that we have anything against God or depth. In spirit, we would like these. It is just that we are habitually too preoccupied um, with, uh, too preoccupied to have any of these show up on our radar screens. We are more busy than bad, more distracted than non-spiritual, and we are more interested in movie theaters, the sports stadium, and shopping mall, and the fantasy life that they produce inside of us than we are in church, which is reality. Pathological busyness, distraction, and restlessness are major blocks today within our spiritual lives. So as we think about that, just roll over in your mind. Roll it, roll it back, play it back in your mind. Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. The life that Jesus lived, did you ever see him stressed, anxious? Did you ever see him do anything out of fear? I didn't see that. When he was in the boat with the disciples, I didn't see him worrying. When he was about to get crucified and martyred, he wasn't doing it out of fear, but his heart was broken because of his love. So he was doing all of this by faith in the Father, but he also was God. So we should put our faith in him and, and live as he did, without stress, without anxiety, not under compulsion doing things daily out of compulsion, but out of love for one another. And if we can take this truth and apply it to our lives, then maybe, just maybe, we might change our lives for the glory of God, not just for our own pleasure, but for the glory of God. And we might also change other people's. We might start to recognize when we are the people hurrying and making other people busy. Busy being burdened under Satan's yoke. We should not strive or want to be the people making others busy, but that doesn't that doesn't excuse us from helping each other in the body of Christ. We should be doing things out of love. We should be working harder than anybody else because of our love for one another. And so this is not an excuse to live a slow, slothful life. This is a way that we see Jesus live that gets things done in faith through love 
for the people around him, and most of all, to honor and glorify the name of God and to enjoy him. So let's do that in our lives. Let's live the way that Jesus lived without hurry, without stress, and understand that he is in control. Let's submit our flesh. Let's get rid of our flesh and walk in the spirit. The Bible says that he who walks in the spirit in, in the flesh will fulfill the desires of the flesh, but if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. You will fulfill the desires of the, the spirit if you're walking in the spirit. So let's walk in the spirit of Christ, in the spirit of God the Father, the spirit himself. Let's walk in him. He is the vine. We are the branches. We can do nothing without him, but with him, we can do everything according to his will that he allowed, would allow us to do. So just consider this, as you go through your days, as you're praying for other people, how can I love them? How can I help them? How can I serve my brothers and sisters? How can I do the things that God wants me to do in his time and not in my pressured, pushed time that I think that I should have them done? Everything that we try to accomplish as humans is usually for our own desire. Put your desires aside and do the will of God. In Isaiah, it talks about what a true fast to the Lord is, and that's putting away our pleasures and doing God's will. The meals that we would have had, we give to others. The things that we would have done for ourselves, we do to others. We love people. That's, that's a good fast for, to the Lord. And so just as you live your life, just think about that quote. Form that interior depth that is so lacking in our culture. Think about that. Dwell on it. Give yourself some time just to sit and to meditate on God's Word, to love Him, to pray to Him. A lot of us don't even give Him enough time uh, of our day just to talk with Him. So set aside some time to talk with Him. And, you know, big task, right? I'm telling you to give God your time and not try to control it for yourself. That's that's big. That's huge because we want to control our time. We want to have that. Let this convict you. Live as Jesus did. Don't live an anxious life. You have Christ. You have Christ. Any anxieties that you have, Philippians tells us to deliver it up to the Lord in prayer. Let him know our needs and, and let it go to him. Let him have it. He'll, he'll fulfill and he'll He'll fill those desires, those needs, but it's going to be according to His will, not what you think should happen. So don't be surprised when He says no, but all I'm simply saying is live a life that's honoring to God. Slow down a little bit. Stop frantically thinking about what you're going to do next. Get off of social media for a while. Live a life that honors God. Slow down. Slow down and breathe. Take your time. But do, do things. Don't take your time to be a sloth and, and just watch an endless Netflix series that never, never does anything useful with your time. Give your time to the Lord, and he'll, he'll use that time to glorify His name. You can do this, and I, I know I, I struggle with it. And so when I'm saying all this, don't think that I'm not struggling with it. Um, I needed this book, and my pastor at the church I'm serving with, he got me this book, and it is amazing. And I'm so happy that he got me this because I needed it. I needed to know that it was okay to slow down and spend my time with the Lord and to do things His way throughout my day and not just pressure on pressure on pressure until my top explodes or I'm like a teapot that starts to blow steam. I want to live a life that's honoring to God and I do that best whenever I'm not anxious, I'm not fearful, and I, I, I give my time to Him. So thank you guys for listening and I just I pray that you apply that to your life as I'm trying to do, I'm working on doing. And as you, as you go, just Remember, the Lord is with you. Your righteousness is in Christ. You can't do this alone. You need brothers and sisters in the faith to help you and keep you accountable. Not just accountable to not sin, but accountable just to how you spend your time. Um, so take this and use it in your life. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought that that was really good. And I hope some of the scripture 
that I quoted was also helpful. Um, if you if you found anything wrong with that, go check me on it. But um, if you want to keep following this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell, the notification icon, um, and have a great day. God bless you, and I'm praying for everyone who sees these videos. So grace and peace be with you. Enjoy in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.